gourmet waffles for a snack? Not a lot of people would think to eat them, let alone sell them, but Joe Nesda did. Only a year into his operation, Joe was inspired by a trip to New York and a wait in a long line for a waffle he didn't even get to try. Joe saw an opportunity to start something of his own in Athens. I spoke with Joe to learn more about how he came up with the idea. I always had these business ideas, but they were all like, they all required a lot of funding and they required other people. I had to rely on someone else to get what I wanted. This was the one thing that was not low cost, but I was, I don't know, something just clicked in me and I'm like, this is the one thing I want to do. And so I just did it. I just started uh, selling to little kids at swim meets. And then I went to music festivals and sold. And so what got me to start was just, I saw something and I thought, oh, I can do this and I can be creative and I can do it my own way. So that's what I did. Today, up, Nesda's waffles are always popping up in different areas of town. Not only are they delicious, but Joe makes sure each waffle comes with a special unique message for every customer. Honestly, probably the notes. <laughs> they just make me feel so good about myself and I don't know, whenever I'm like having a bad day, I'm just like, I remember that one person that doesn't really know me wrote something so nice about me and that just makes me feel better. Joe has plans to expand his business from the local level to something even bigger. I plan to have a store by January. Then I grow that store, I hire an operator, I have someone work it and run it and do it the way I would do it without me being there, which is like everyone's dream and a lot harder than it seems. But the goal is to have my first store run it to perfection, have a second one and then a third and then a fourth. To learn more about where the next Nedza's event is, follow Nedza's underscore waffles on Instagram. Takunda Mafundiqua, Journalism 3280.